I have an inbuilt feeling that there's good and bad. In everyone. Everything, every second. Like yeah. every single second when you really dissect it, there's either a positive or negative. Negative, yeah. yeah. And, and I've spent a lot of years actually being negative and negative things were, were coming at me, like doing, you know, and, and once I realized, wow, hang on a minute. It's the way you see it. Yeah, but I started doing positive things yeah. and positive things appeared, you know, obviously. But but it was as, as it basic did, as that. Look, if I did that right now, yeah. that negative is going to lead to negative. And But don't you think it's like, a, like not so much negative things happen to you as much as it is you're seeing the, that same situation in a positive light, therefore you take the positive yeah. action – you take action that's going to come like with a positive outcome as opposed to, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. okay. But it's funny you say that, right? That's been, <laughs> that's been happening to me today. Yeah. When, when this little group I'm in, there's sort of lots of people in this group and they decided they don't want one person in the group. Mm. And... I'm just like, oh, I couldn't do that to – I keep thinking about that person. Um, so there's – it's – I'm one positive weirdo. <laughs> only no, cares. But it might be to the detriment of the whole deal. Yeah. Well, that's that's usually what happens to me because I usually root for the underdog or if someone's being bullied, I'll try and take their side. But then I end up on the out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's always happened to me. It's like – well, I've got no reason to dislike this person, so I'll remain yeah. friends with them. And the next thing you know, that person's in and I'm on the out. It's like, yeah. hold on a second. They were bitching hardcore about you. How come you're with them now? Yeah, like yeah. cut you out of the group. You know, there's a funny thing. Speaking of that, I bang on about this a lot, that that we're kind of just animals recently. You know, really, cave people. Yeah. <laughs> recently, in the scheme of things. Uh, and that when, like, you know, when men are always, uh, women are always critical that if, if a lady gets sick, the, the guy just never looks after her. But, yeah. but women just constantly do everything to make a man really feel, you know, if you're sick, if I, if I get sick at home, my wife looks after me and she's, I just can't believe it. But if she gets sick, my instant thought is to go like, I just, if there's nothing there. I don't know. <laughs> and I get like every other bloke, I just go, well, what do you want me to do? Like, yeah, yeah. you should have fixed it. Like, should have, and, but then I dissected it and it goes along as far as this. There's a guy I know with cancer, right? And, um, he's in the boxing group and every guy in the, in the, um, in the boxing thing doesn't know what to do. It's the same thing. And I thought, well, it's because, um, say if we're pack animals, someone's dropping out of the pack. And, oh, you know, yeah. someone's dropping out of the, the tribe, like they, they're sick. And, our, and it wasn't that long ago that we didn't know what to do apart from just, just move on, move yeah. forward. And that person is just, just dropping out of the pack. It's like the runt of the pack. Yeah, but yeah. ladies know how exactly how to do it. Like, you know, nurture and look after people and really get Some into ladies. that stuff. But, <laughs> yeah. Some ladies do. Some ladies, yeah. Yeah. Some, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I find about, um, my thing about Japan is that, oh, see, I'm drinking beer no, and burping. No, burping. I don't Me care. too. Stop it. <laughs> um, Corona. I'll let, out, I'll let out a real yeah, belch. Yeah. <laughs> a manly belch. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. well, see, so you, you were born in Osaka, but you, you're Australian. You, you were raised, raised here yeah. and you spent a few years. Back yep. in Osaka at school. Yeah. So you're 90% Australian, really. But. 50%. Yeah? But. Oh, well. Like, well, I always Your say, brain, okay. yeah? Oh, my brain. Yeah, no, see, I don't know. Oh, no, but you were raised by your, you know, your Japanese mum. Mom. So. I think I've got both, but let's always yeah. call myself, I'm not half anything, I'm double everything. Awesome. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, my thing about. The difference between um, Aussie women and I only know Japanese women, right? Um, uh, Australian women haven't had a war. They haven't had a famine. They haven't had any real, uh, 
you know, there's lots of, say, government assistance in this country, like all this sort of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't really need men. Like, really? <laughs> like, really? And it, that surprised me. I don't want to even um, turn it into this, but, but I find uh, every time I go to Japan that there was a time only a few generations ago where the family needed to work as a group. Seriously, mate, you need to go out there and get a job for us so that we've got money yeah. and I'll do everything at home with these kids and look after this house. And so it was a, only not long ago there was real desperation, you know, proper starvation. Yeah. And so fast forward to, to now, I know some wild Aussie chicks, you know, really, like kind of confused um, girls too. <laughs> But yeah, really, you know, and dudes too. Like, I don't even know how to make this girl happy. Yeah. I've got no idea, like, what I'm supposed to do. It's sort of like there's not, a, not enough, and I'm not talking bad about Aussie girls, but I'm sure they don't need us. Like, the Yeah, they're different. Like, there's definitely – because I look at my Aussie friends and some of the ways they treat their men, it makes me cringe. Because they're so cruel sometimes. But then I look at my Japanese girlfriends and it makes me cringe because they're so like yes men, doormats, yeah. kind of in a way. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it'd be a uh, perfect mixture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they definitely, they're definitely different. Yeah. It's like, you know, I've been watching quite a bit of Japanese television on YouTube lately yeah. and the Japanese ladies kind of expect that their husbands are going to go and have an affair. Wow. And they just expect, we know that you're going to do it, do it so I don't ever find out yeah. kind of thing. Whereas here, it's like, yeah. pardon my friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And and it's like the, like the, the, the girls here are just waiting to break up, like, Actually, you know what I mean? Say, so, you know, like, um, I kind of know a girl, a really close friend, and she's the most Aussie person I know. Full on, she's crazy, yeah. tough, good, but a really good person. She split up with a guy because he once called her fat. And I'm like, come on, I'm sure he was joking around. He's like, no. And she stood up on her principles, and, and but they split up. Well, this, I'm sure there was more to it. I'm just talking shit. But, yeah. but and it was a horrible thing for him to say. But at the same time, it was kind of um, like now she's alone. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to say. I, I'm, I know I'm sp- but sometimes being alone is better than being like, I think. I was alone for a long time. I was. Yeah. But it's because like I'd rather be by myself than mm-hmm. put up with crap, you know. Yeah. So. Did you have crap? I had, yeah, yeah. Had a bit of crap. One of, one of my craps were called Drew, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, he's in jail now. <laughs> really? Yeah. In, in an, obviously, Australia. So, in Brisbane? No, on the Gold Coast. Oh. About maybe 10 years ago now. Wow, do you like your bad boys? Well, he actually came across as one of those, I only look bad, I'm not that bad. Yeah. He came across like that, but then, like the the longer I spent with him, the more bad I started seeing. But it's yeah. unfortunate because his good was really good. Even yeah. the kids, I mean, Corey doesn't really remember, but Alyssa was like, "Drew was the most fun yeah. out of all your boyfriends. Drew was the most fun, and he was like, you know, you'd just be rolling on the ground with laughter. Yeah. But then, like, he had a real evil side to him as wow. well, like impulsive. Is he away for a long yeah. time? Wow. I don't know how much, it, how public does this go? Like, I don't oh, know. it's searchable. <laughs> it really is. I don't want him coming back and chopping no, my toes off. No, don't. Oh, God, <laughs> really? Oh, really? man. Oh, well, because like, he did jail time for, because I didn't know this when, when I first met him. But then, you know, when you're with someone, you, you give them the benefit of the doubt and you, yeah. you go, oh, look, he's reformed. But he actually did jail time for um, an armed robbery. Yeah, and then... He's got impulse issues, perhaps. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. He had schizophrenia, which I don't know if the schizophrenia came first or whether yeah. it was drug-induced. It's you know. definitely drug-induced. Let, let me guess. He was a constant bong smoker. 
No, he didn't touch marijuana. Wow. It was always cocaine or ice. <laughs> it, I'd say worse. <laughs> worse. All right, so here you go. I, I live with a schizophrenic girl. Mm. And um, how frightening is that? Um, but it's she was a – she was – she was only really young, but she'd been smoking bongs since she was 14. Like, And yeah. I'm talking constant, 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 constant. And I thought, you know, we were having loads of sex <laughs> at the same time. So I was clouded. My whole judgment was clouded. Yeah. But this girl would actually go, um, be completely normal. And then all of a sudden she'd start chewing her lip sort of thing. And then I'd go, oh, no, here it comes. And then just lash out. She actually tried to bite my cheeks off. Like loads of things. I woke up. Uh, more than once for the first time, I got punched right in the nose in my sleep. Scary. And it was just because I've ruined her life. But it, she could never explain what it was. Yeah. It was just this, like, oh, God, it was so hard. So yeah. it was like, There's nothing more frightening than a woman that's bashing you because you don't know what to do. Yeah. And and uh, everyone kind of looks at you going, dude, you can't control a woman. You're like, yeah. you don't understand. Like, you know, you're, wow, schizophrenic. I actually I learned a lot about schizophrenia there and then yeah. craziness. But there's, it's, you know, my, uh, uh, a lot of people are on drugs at the same time. Well, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. And, you know, like he'd go, to, he'd go to a psychiatrist and get his medication, like proper medication, but he preferred to self-medicate. Right. Yeah. That's the only time he kind of felt normal, but he, like, Looking from the outside in, it wasn't normal. It was, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Messes you with that stuff. I know. <laughs> look at you all uncomfortable again. <laughs> well, me too. We're talking about some nutcase. I know. Yeah, but I don't know. His heart was in the right place, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> well, actually, I know a girl. I know someone really close to me who... um. I didn't consider to be someone who liked, um, she was a bit of a weed smoke, one of the sort of hippie sort of girls, but she got right into ice. Turn, I think she is a prostitute right now. Like just, I saw it all evolve within six months. Happened. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, currently facing loads of charges. She's going oh to jail. Like God. just the ultimate ice story you've ever read. Yeah. I watched it unfold. You know, Scary. it's craziness, craziness. But again, again, um, everyone has their party years. Yeah. And I don't begrudge anyone for that. But there's a time where you have to make a, this is either positive, positive or, or a negative choice. Yeah. And you need to know like, oh, if, look, but I, I need to make a positive yeah. choice and that's going to lead to positive. And but it's, I don't know, like cause I was talking about this with Dan this morning actually because I we're watching television and apparently like Australia's in an ice epidemic and and I think back to when I was naughty and we had drugs but they were clean, mm. you know, and, and they weren't, I mean, yeah, obviously they were addictive but they weren't as addictive as ice is. Mm. So you could have your fun, you could have your naughty, you know, I'm going to be a rebel kind of phase yeah. but then you you can grow out of it because it's not, that destructive yeah. whereas these days like the drugs that they have not only are they like highly addictive but there's all this crap yeah. that's you know they're cut with crap and so yeah. the kids don't even have a chance you know yeah. and everyone goes through it don't they yeah they do well you have to you, you have just have to, to learn about yeah. <laughs> well you do and and it's often the people who don't go through that phase of of experimenting with life that end up like i don't i just don't understand you Sure, yeah. <laughs> you've got 12 houses. Sure, yeah. your life's on track. <laughs> but they're the ones actually that are that are messing around on their wives. They haven't sort of like, yeah. oh, you know. Or watching this is child me. porn or doing yeah. a real, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. actually, there was a guy I work with. There's been more than a few in my life that um, old guys that have, re oh, particularly two in the last couple of years, and they've retired from work. And I'm talking 65 year old guys that, and we start. They go, "What about you, Drew? Hey, you about a threesome?" <laughs> like, yeah, man. Who has? Who hasn't? <laughs> you know? I haven't. What? <laughs> I haven't. 
I don't want anyone touching right, Why are you winking at me now? <laughs> 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 well, okay. Except for you, of course. I wasn't even asking you. I would, I